Welcome to Imagine it down here at Imagination Station, joined once again by Chief Scientist Carl Nelson uh, for breakfast, apparently. This is a lovely setup here. I don't think I want cheer uh, Cheerios and water, though. What are we doing? No, no. That's why I have a bowl of milk. <laughs> so, Dan, what I want you to do is pick up an individual Cheerio and just, like, put it in the middle of the bowl of milk. Just drop it in there gently. Well, I'm Dan, that's Carl, and that's how you imagine <laughs> it. Oh. No, I had another one. <laughs> oh, did you see that? The little, the little clumping yeah. that always happens. Add yeah. the next one a little bit further away. And then add another one. And we've let the milk sit for a while, so it's kind of still, so we're not, you know, it's not sloshing mm. back and forth. But what's interesting is what you just described. And you can see it right there, boom. That little magnetic they, almost thing that happens. But they're not magnetic. Yeah. And they're not charged. So why are the Cheerios clumping next to one another? In fact, if I just kind of cheat a little bit, put this one near the edge, we're gonna watch and see. So something interesting is happening here. The Cheerios are Buoyant. There, you see that? Mm -hmm. It went to the edge too. Absolutely. So two things two things the Cheerios are gonna do. Well, three things. They're gonna float, they are gonna stick to one another, attract one another, or they might stick to the edge of the bowl. And so there's a really interesting thing going on here. If we if we kind of draw the bowl here, here's the ed here's my big bowl, right? And I've got uh, let's say we have some milk in it. And I'm gonna exaggerate the meniscus. Oh yeah, that happens <laughs> very exaggerated. Here. But so, what happens is near the edge, the milk is more strongly attracted to the glass than it is to itself. And mm -hmm. so it forms what's called a meniscus. Now, if we have a Cheerio floating in here, this is my Cheerio, there's a couple forces acting on it. The, the most important force is the buoyant force. That's what keeps it floating in the liquid. And that force acts upward. But you could rewrite that force into two different directions, right? You could create a force that is perpendicular redraw this vector as one that is perpendicular to the surface yeah. and one that is along the surface of the milk. The Cheerio can't jump out of the milk. No. It's got to ride along the surface. And so this is why the Cheerio moves to the edge is because this force does nothing. It can't move the Cheerio out of the liquid, mm -hmm. but it can shove it along the side. It kind of wants it with the buoyancy, it wants to find that highest point, right? Well, this force is actually pushing it right up there. If you, you rewrite this vector as the two components, it'll actually push it up. And the same thing happens if you have two Cheerios next to one another. If you notice, you see that little glare around the edge? The Cheerios yeah. are actually forming a little meniscus next to themselves. Like a localized sort of thing within themselves. And so both Cheerios feel a force and they're basically riding that ridge to touch one another. Very which cool. is really kind of cool when you think about it. Now, so Cheerios are buoyant. They're lighter or less dense than the milk. If you take something that's heavier, and I'm, I, I've practiced this and it's a little bit hard to do, but I'm gonna see if I can do this. If you take a paper clip, and I'm gonna change my, my view here to this bowl of water, I'm gonna try to float a paper clip on top of the water by bringing it over and setting it there on top. Go. And you notice here, you can see that same bending, sort of thing. Yeah but it's bending the other way. It's bending down surface because the paper tension. clip is, exactly, paper clip is heavier than water, but surface tension is keeping it up there. Now if I, this is gonna be really hard to do, I'm sure, but if I'll. It's kind of like how water bugs sometimes you see on exactly, top there. Exactly, that is exactly it. And there's your proof that it's not uh, that it is buoyant by nature, not I guess, buoyant. that it's. <laughs> Damn, I should have you do this. Well, you did the one and done. Oh, okay. So the same thing is gonna happen with things that are heavier than the water and that they are going to eventually come together. Come on, you can do it. I've seen this done once with coins before and I don't yeah, know how they did it. It's like, the it just same seems thing. Like it weighs, you know, way more Look, than it's, it's happening again. And to your point of surface tension, that was, that was a great lead in. If we reduce the surface tension by adding a detergent, hmm. it will reduce the surface tension and if I add a drop, Oh, <laughs> it shot to the side. I mean, it's probably that. It shot to the side because we broke the surface tension in the middle with that detergent. And if we had a powder on top, we'd see it race to the side and that sort of pushed the paper clips, but then they dropped as well. If, if I was able to float a paper clip over here, they would repel because one has a meniscus going upwards. Uh, Should not, we move not the really uh, we, I will, yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Got so lucky there. Now these are gonna repel one another. We have a divot going down and a sort of a divot mm -hmm. coming up or a meniscus coming up. So if you tried to Here, shove do, that, do it, do uh, it. Try, yeah. try to do it gently. See if you can do it. Yeah, yeah kind of, you can yeah, see Yeah, they're just, pushing the park. Yeah, you can see the entire clump here just moving the other nice. way. Look at that. And they're not even touching, they're really. Even it's touching. just kind of 
It really is like a weird magnetic effect, but with no actual with no charge or anything. Yeah. Yeah. So science in a bowl of Cheerios. Very cool. You're going to be thinking about this all the rest of breakfast, I tell you. Yeah. All right, cool stuff. I'm Dan. That's Carl. That's a tasty way to imagine it. Now, be